Hey, what's up? I'm Russ. So when you receive a dividend, you can either just take the cash, do what you will with it, or you can reinvest it automatically with something called dividend reinvestment. And all that this means is that the brokerage, when you have it toggled on, will buy you more shares or fraction of shares, whatever can be afforded with the dividend you received from that stock automatically. You don't have to think about it. It's what we again call dripping dividend reinvestment plan. But you might have wondered what it would look like if you were able to back test, if you were able to see for free what that would look like if you had reinvested dividends or if you had taken the money and did what you will with it. So linked in the description below is this dividendchannel.com. First, I wanna say pay attention to the upper bar here because you have BDC Investor, great resource for BDCs, Canada, closed end funds, energy, ETFs, few other things that you might find very useful. Dividend Channel is very useful and they have things like a dividend stock screener. You can find out what companies are declaring their most recent dividend and then they have a whole bunch of other videos, resources, slideshows, things right here that you can check out like Warren Buffett's dividend stocks. But what we're here on Dividend Channel com for is the calculator. So go ahead and click calculator. And the way that this works is it's going to chart hypothetically $10,000 into a stock or ETF or closed on fund from a date range that you pick starting all the way back in 1995 on January 1st. So I figure, why don't we see what it would look like for a popular dividend paying stock? Now, again, this is not gonna factor in any taxes, anything like that. It's just a real simple scenario you can run. So we'll start it on the new day of the millennium, January 1st, 2000, 24 years ago, a little bit more, we'll do realty income versus either the S&P 500, the NASDAQ or the Dow are pre-selected, or you can do other, and we'll plug in another popular one, Agree Realty, ticker ADC, hit chart 10K invested. You'll get another window that pops up, divided into two sections is the growth of $10,000 with dividends reinvested on the top, and then the $10,000 without reinvesting the dividends. So if you were theoretically living off of them, you know, going to the bar with your dividends, whatever it may be. We'll start here at the top, shows you the date range, starting price per share, 10 bucks, 13 bucks for ADC. We're interesting that it was more. Ending price, 52.24 for O, 56.75 for Agree Realty. Your starting shares, 994 to 717. The ending shares, look at what the dividends do. 3,837 shares. Agree Realty is 3,468. You'll see the dividends that were reinvested per share. You would have had 46 dollars and 94 cents of dividends to 49 dollars of dividends for agree realty so check that out your dividends realty income would have had a total return of 1900 and call it five percent and agree realty 1868 very very similar Average annual total return, 13% for O, 13% for Agree Realty. And then your starting 10K would have turned into 200,000 roughly for Realty Income and 196,000 for Agree Realty. And then if we look at the bottom, it runs the same scenario, again, just without your dividends reinvested. The only thing that's gonna be missing is the starting and ending shares. That will be the same. But check out the difference you would have had a return total of realty income 885%. So going from 1,904 to 885, that's a steep drop off. 663% return for Agree Realty. So you can really see how those dividends light the fire of the compounding machine. And your average total return goes below 10% to 9.9% and 8.7%. So again, very similar. But now what if we change that to see how realty income did against the S&P 500? Just toggle S&P 500 and click chart 10K invested and you see that realty income crushed the S&P 500 that 1,905% return to 443% return with dividends reinvested for the S&P 500. 
But that's without the tech boom. That's giving Realty Income a head start. So check this out. If we bump that up about 14 years to 2014, now let's see what that looks like. So when we factor in a shorter time frame to that tech boom, S&P 500 has a 241% return to Realty Income's 130% return. So it beats it in that time frame. And it also beats it without dividends reinvested. I thought I'd have some fun with this one. I think that TSLY from Yieldmax, I think they're preying on people that want to get rich quick and they want big dividends right away, but I think they're returning a lot of your capital to you in the form of these ginormous distributions of 53%. TSLY was incepted right here. Is incepted a word? We'll make it a, we'll allow it. November 22nd, 2022. I want to see how it performs against Tesla, which does not pay a dividend or a distribution. So we'll plug in November 22nd, 2022 and see how Tesla performed against TSLY if we had put $10,000 into each. So very interesting. Look at the top. They show you that they didn't have data for the 22nd and so it started on the 23rd, the day after. But had you reinvested your TSLY dividends, you'd have a total return of negative 14% to Tesla's negative 5%. That's very interesting, right? Because Tesla doesn't even pay a distribution or a dividend. But if you were to have just taken the distribution from TSLY and not reinvested it, you would have a total return of negative 7%. That is insane that it would have been better for you to take the distribution and turn drip off for TSLY, which kind of supports my feeling that there is no free lunch in the stock market. And on top of that, you have had to pay yield max almost a 1% expense ratio for the privilege of them reducing and eroding your money like that. So I'd love to know if you're going to use this, if you have used this, one thing I might suggest if you've got some time is to just go back a few years and see how some of your holdings or ETFs would have performed against either the S&P 500 using something like VOO or the total investable U.S. stock market using VTI or whatever it may be and share with us if you've found anything surprising in your portfolio or anything that you were not aware of that may be changing how you're thinking about things. And in this floating little box right here next to my head I had a fantastic conversation with a real live millionaire next door named Fabio who is also an author of a really cool dividend book that I think you might want to check out well at least check out this video and if you do that then Fabio and I will talk to you there.